Hello everyone and welcome to the third tutorial of Apogee Airflow. In this video, we will learn how to set up Airflow environment using Google Cloud Composer. But first, let's go to an overview of Cloud Composer. So Cloud Composer is a fully managed Apogee Airflow to make workflow creation and management easy, powerful, and consistent. Cloud Composer helps you create Airflow environments quickly and easily so you can focus on your workflow and not your infrastructure. So let's say if you really like Airflow and you decide to use Airflow within your company as a production service, in this case, you need to host Airflow somewhere. Let's say you want to host Airflow on-premise. In another word, you want to host Airflow on your local server. There's a lot of problem with this approach. You need to spend a lot of time doing DevOps work, like create a new server, manage Airflow installation, take care of dependency management, package management, make sure your Airflow always up and running, and then you have to deal with scaling and security issues. If you don't want to deal with any of those DevOps problem, and instead just want to focus on your workflow, then Google Cloud Composer is a great solution for you. Let's go to some of its benefit. So the nice thing about Google Cloud Composer is that you, as a data engineer or data scientist, don't have to spend much time on DevOps problem. You just focus on your workflow, writing the code, and let the composer manage the infrastructure for you. Of course, you have to pay for the hosting service, but cost is very low compared to if you have to host a production Airflow server on your own. This is an ideal solution if you are a startup in need of Airflow and you don't have a lot of DevOps folk in-house. So if you take a look at the picture below, even though Airflow is a great workflow management open source framework, it is not focused on production setup, permission management, locking, debugging, or scaling. And Cloud Composer as a scalable service in Google Cloud Platform built on top of Apogee Airflow uh, that open source project, it has the best of both worlds. It had all the great feature at, of an open source project and the support of community, plus the scale of the Google Cloud Platform. So you have all the great feature of Apache Airflow and Google Cloud Platform will take care of the infrastructure, scalability, security, ease of deployment, uh, low cost, operability, and maintainability for you. So Let's go to some of the key Cloud Composer feature. Simplicity, so one click to create new Airflow environment, uh, client tooling including Google Cloud SDK and Google Cloud Developer Console. Easy and control access to the Airflow web UI. Security, uh, identity, um, uh, so Google Cloud Composer will use identity access management to manage credential permission and access policy for you. Scalability, easy to scale with Google infrastructure. With a few clicks, you can easily scale your cluster up to hundreds of nodes, and if the demand is low, you can scale them down easily. Production monitoring, all of your logs will be stored in the cloud, and Google, Google Composer will use Stack Driver for logging and monitoring. It will provide uh, the logging and monitoring metrics and alert when your workflow is not running. It simplify DAC management and PyCon package man management for you. It also has a comprehensive GCP integration. Basically, it integrates very well with all other Google Cloud services like Big Data and Machine Learning. And you can use Composer to orchestrate your workflow. And each task in the workflow is a different service on Google Cloud. Uh, of course, uh, you don't have to choose Google Cloud service since Composer is built on top of open source project Airflow. Even though you choose to use Air, uh, Composer to orchestrate your workflow, but all of your tasks, basically all of the heavy jobs, can run elsewhere. For example, it can run on other cloud provider like uh, Microsoft Azure or AWS or on premises. Also, if you go to the Google Cloud uh, Composer official documentation, you can see that. Google Cloud Composer is a new product from Google. So with the latest push from Google, you can be sure that Apache Airflow is the current cutting edge technology in the software industry. So the first beta release of Google Cloud Composer is on May 
2018, which is only six months ago. And the latest release is recently, which is on October 24th, uh, with the su support uh, of Python 3 and the latest Airflow version uh, 1.10. So with that being said, let's go to a real use case example of how you can set up a Google Cloud Composer environment. It is extremely easy to set up, and if you have a Google Cloud account, it's really just a few clicks away. So like I said, if you have a Google Cloud account, all you need is just log in and go to the Composer section, and this is the screen of the Composer environment. So currently, Composer only supports Python 3 and Airflow 1.10 in beta, which is the latest version. So if you want to use the latest version, remember to click Enable beta features here uh, to use the latest version. And uh, in this screen here, you see the Create button. And in a Composer environment, you can create multiple environments, right? Not not one, but multiple different environments, uh, like different Airflow version or different Python version of uh, different Composer environment. It's up to you. And each environment is a different Kubernetes cluster with multiple nodes, so they, they, are, they are perfectly isolated from each other. So if you click the Create button, it will take you to the next screen here. You can choose, uh, you can put the name of the uh, Composer environment. You can choose how many nodes in the cluster, you s and you can choose the location of cluster and uh, the disk sign of each node. And you can also choose the Airflow version. In this case, choose the latest version, 1.10 and the Python 3 version, and you click Create. And just wait for 10 minutes, you have a complete Composer environment up and running in the Google Cloud Platform. It's very cool, huh? So there's a lot of information in this uh, environment configuration, but I only, you to, I only want you to focus on these three. The DAX folder, the Airflow Web UI, and a Stack Driver. So these are the three links that's very important. So the first link here is the DAX folder, which is basically a link to a bucket in Google Cloud Storage. So Google, Google Cloud Composer uses Google Cloud Storage to store Airflow DAX, so you can easily add, update, and delete a DAX from your environment by putting the file or removing a file from this bucket. This is the link. The second link is the link to the Airflow Web UI. Uh, it is very similar to the uh, UI I showed you in a previous re uh, video, uh, where, can, where you can log in and, and see and monitor all of your running DAX. And finally, is the link to the Stack Driver, where you can see all the logs that, uh, of everything is currently running in your Composer environment, like the um, cluster logs, or the web server, or the scheduler logs, right? Also, you have option to install extra Python dependency uh, from the Python package index uh, by giving the name of the Python package you want to install and a version, and just click Add Package and Submit. And Airflow uh, Composer will ultimately you know, rebuild the Composer environment for you. So when you have a Composer environment, it's very simple for you to deploy a DAC. So Google, like I said, Google Cloud Composer U Cloud Storage to store Airflow DAX. You can easily add, update, and delete a DAX from your environment. And you have a couple of options here. A manual deployment. Basically, you know, when you just, like I said, uh, you just need to focus on writing your workflow, your code. And basically, just a simple, like, python.pi file. And you can just drag and drop uh, the .pi file to the Composer DAC folder, which is the uh, link that I showed you pre previously to the, uh, to the Google Cloud Storage bucket. You just drag and drop the file there, and within a second, the DAX will appear in the Airflow UI. You can also uh, use the gcloud SDK command to deploy a new DAC. And if you want something more robust in a more like a production service, you can set up some uh, type of auto deployment. Basically, all of your DAX file are stored in a Git repository, and you can set up a continuous integration pipeline to auto automatically deploy every time a merge request is done in the master branch. So, with that uh, being said, that is all the basic information about Google Cloud Composer. 
If you want more information, please check out the Cloud Composer official documentation and watch the full talk from Google. So in the full talk from uh, Google in that video, the speaker will give a live demo of getting the workflow up and running in Google Cloud Composer. Uh, so check out the uh, full talk link in the description below. And this is the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. In the next video, I'll be explaining about Airflow concept before we dive in and write our first Airflow deck. Thanks for watching. See you next time.